And welcome back to Sports Business with Orufo Ezaga. Um, this, you're watching Plus TV Africa, and we're reaching you live from our studios in Lagos. Joining me in the studio now is Mr. Remy Ulukoya. He's a golf enthusiast, um, a skilled player, and an experienced organizer of golf events in, in Nigeria. You know, we're going to be speaking with him about golf and um, the potential of golf in, in Nigeria um, when, we, when, we, when, when you, know, you know those involved in playing it, the global scale that the game, uh, at, at which the game is played, and you know, the, you know what, what's involved in terms of sponsorships, in terms of the, the general po business popularity of, of golf as a sport. All right, welcome to the program, Remy. Thank you. Okay. You had a tournament at the weekend, didn't you? Yes, we did. What tournament was that? The World Corporate Golf Challenge, the national finals. Okay. Uh, we actually own two franchises here. Okay. The World Corporate Golf Challenge and mm. the International Pairs. So uh, on August 2nd to 4th, we will be in uh, Ibom Golf Resort yeah. for the International Pairs National Finals. Okay. This weekend, we play the Corporate Golf Challenge. Yeah. where companies sponsor golfers to participate. Yeah. Um, upstream commercial assets came first mm. at that event. And um, I mean, uh, it was a very exciting moment. What's going on with golf in Nigeria? You know, I know that amateur golf seems to be doing okay. But professionally, um, Nigeria doesn't feature in, in, in major golf tournaments. I mean, this has been... This has been uh, um, quite a. P I mean, this is 63 years after independence. Yeah. So, w what's happening with our golf, professional golf in Nigeria? Okay, you need to understand the genesis of mm. how our professionals came about. Mm. Many of the guys who are professionals at the moment mm. used to be caddies, mm. and so they got exposed to golf mm. and didn't think they should further their education. Golf and education goes hand in hand. Mm. Why? Because you are taking business decisions. Mm. So they are not equipped to take, I mean, your skill can only, is only 25% mm. of what you require to play golf. Mm. The rest is up here. Now, so, yes, they do have skills, but they don't have the mental capacity to really? cope. Yes, that's the issue. So, um, therefore, yeah, they've been doing well locally. They could strive across West Africa. But once they get exposed to East Africa or more to South Africa, they can't cope. But, but sports is something that you have to play on a regular basis. You know, compete at a very high level on a regular basis for you to be, at least in today's world, for you to be a competitive player. Do they have such platforms in Nigeria where they can regularly and consist continuously? So there you go sports? again, focusing on the sport. Mm. Golf is much more than sports. Mm. It's more mental. Mm. It's more psychological than just the act of playing the game. Mm. So a lot of people assume that if you expose them to more games and um, to playing more, they are likely to exceed. You're not, I mean, that's not the issue. Mm. These guys need to be educated. They need to um, learn the tricks of uh, decision making. Mm. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Mm. Do you, um, I, at what time should you be aggressive? Mm. At what time should you um, slow down? At what time should you be conservative? Now, they're not going to teach you that in, in golf. They're going to teach you that in school. Mm. And you're going to learn that from the way you interact and live your life. Mm. So now that's what is lacking in our boys right now. They are skilled. But they even are, with interacting with people like you, that, isn't that an education that they are getting? <sighs> Interesting. I mean, someone like Tiger, mm. who has made, I mean, he has changed the face of golf, mm. went to school. It was in Stanford. Now, if you, in contrast, if you've heard of Sergio Garcia, mm -hmm. when he came on board, everybody was convinced that Sergio would be better than Tiger. 
But Sergio never went to school. Mm. It took him a long time to win a first major. Mm. All right? And if you look at how many events he has won and how he has performed so far, mm. you can never put him on the same pedestal as Tiger, as you will put Tiger. Okay. Now, so coming back home, what do we need to do? Mm. We need to get boys who are properly and truly educated into the game of golf. As you might know, golf is a member, I mean, most clubs in Nigeria right now mm. are members only golf uh, mm. clubs, which means they are not likely to get access except mm. they are caddy or they turn professional. Mm. And um, that is not helping us. Mm. Uh, if the local government or state government could invest in what are called public golf courses, mm. uh, then everybody will have access. Mm. So without taking golf to the grassroots, we're wasting time. Mm. Okay, let's look at the money. Okay. Because okay. that's what we do on this program. Look All at right. the, the business part of, the, of, of sport. Where do you see the business side of golf um, in, in Nigeria going? Wh where is it now? And where do you see it going? Well, I mean, right now, everybody, I mean, I haven't been in golf for quite some time now. Mm. I noticed that a lot of sponsors are doing so out of sentiment. Okay. And there's no event, there's no sport that can survive on such basis. True. Golf is a multi-billion dollar business. Mm. I'll give you an example. Emiels is arguably the number one South African golfer. Mm. Yeah? His earnings as of now, prize winning, $39 million, one per person. Annum. No, no, no. Career Total, winning. Yeah. Winning. I'm not yeah. talking about endorsements, yeah, 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 whatever yeah. I hear. Yeah. He's winning, $39 million. Closely followed by Ratif Gusi. Yeah. Ratif Gusi right now is, no, I mean, anywhere else I said is at $49 million. Mm. Yeah? Ratif Gusi is at $31 million, one person. Mm. So he go, he's out there in the U.S. playing, to, uh, he's on tour. Mm playing the game, and then he comes back, invests in a golf academy, mm. and trains more South Africans. If you look at the top 100 golfers in the world, several South Africans, yeah. and I can continue to mention the names here. Yeah. But, they, but they're usually white South Africans. Okay, very interesting. Mm. Now, uh, the number, there are a number of black South Africans that could have also had the opportunity, mm. but it comes back to the issue of education. Okay. Yeah. James Kante was the black South African number one golfer in South Africa. At the time he was playing, mm. Tiger actually at the US Open asked to play practice round with James Kante. Oh, wow. But what happened to James Kante? He got into his head that he was now a very good player. Unfortunately, he had an accident with his car and he injured his. Uh, his uh, shoulder. Oh, okay. It has not been able to heal properly. And so he cannot play competitive golf. Because golf at that professional level is four days of competition. Mm, yeah. All right? So, what are we talking about? It goes back to the fact that first, you need to be properly educated. Okay. Three, you need to apply your skills mm. in a manner that will put you up there. As okay. a professional. Okay, so let's look at. You know, we used to have we used to have um, the Nigerian Open, I think. Mm. Yeah, um, and and I, I'm more conversant with the tennis industry, and okay. and boring from that, I want to see whether we have the same kinds of problems in in, in golf. First, in tennis, you you don't have enough competitions. You say well, well education will cover that, and then two. Um, we tend to do tournaments that are international tournaments or amateur tournaments for old people, you know, with our big bellies and all of that. We, we do tournaments for ourselves. Mm. Who doesn't get enough tournaments are th those people who, who, because from these tournaments they get paid. And if you get paid, you can even then say, you know, from my home and my computer and my smartphone, let me get an education. 
Mm -hmm. Right? Do mm -hmm. you get it? So, mm -hmm. why, when it comes to professional sport, what, what's missing in Nigeria? Why don't we focus on the why do we focus on ourselves as amateur players and not the professional? Interesting. Um, it comes boils down to sponsorship. Mm. Now, for as long as a sponsor thinks he's doing you a favor, mm. then he will not um, provide the means for you to compete regularly. Can measure it value. Now, mm. you know, our guys go to sponsors say, please, we just need you. Mm. Come and help us. You have to understand that the man is in business. Mm. So show him the business side. Mm. How do you get value mm. from sponsoring golf events? But you are doing that already. And that's why we are here. Mm. That's why we are. we are trying to show them mm. that it is not. I'm not. I'm not looking for. I'm not asking you to partner with him with mm. me on sentimental mm. basis. No. Mm. I want to show you how your business can grow mm. supporting the game of golf. Golf, yeah. Uh -huh. And that's the value we bring to the table. So that's why sponsors are willing to work with us. Those that we have been able to engage with. Yeah. So don't come. I mean, I'm not asking you to come and partner with me uh, to, to help me out. No, mm. no, no. I'm asking you to come because you are, your business will thrive with us. Yeah. All right. So if you provide that platform, Mm. then more sponsors will come on board. Mm. And once more sponsors come on board, you have more tournaments. Mm. Uh, but when you cannot show value, who is? Who, who will put well, here's, again, mm. let me go back to tennis and okay. then see how we can relate this to golf. Internationally, tennis is organized, most of the big tennis tournaments in the world are organized by clubs, country clubs, clubs like Ikoi Club, Lagos Country Club, uh, the IBB, the Abuja, I don't know what it's called now. The IBB, Golf. International Golf and Country yeah. Club. You guys have memberships. You have big guys, you know, heads of organizations, you know, billionaires, more similar. In fact, there was a lady who told me one day, uh, some bank uh, uh, head of sponsorship or something i said one tournament she went for she got a, a, a deal of about two billion naira or something right so the big names the, you know educated solid people in society are members of these clubs if you want to organize a tournament between them and their organizations you can raise money what why is that not the case yeah it is not the case because a lot of sponsors don't understand the game of golf except their CEO or mm. CFO is a golfer. Yes. If you are a golfer, he would understand golf mm. and about um, when to sponsor. Now, like I said, what right now what's mm. happening is that sponsors are doing so on sentimental basis. Mm. This has to stop. Mm. Uh -huh. You mentioned about Nigeria hosting Nigeria Open. Mm. The moment they moved Nigeria Open to Abuja, mm. it died a natural death. Mm. Because they had assumed that they could get money from government. Mm. We've got to stop that mentality. Mm. I don't need any money from government to host mm. a golf mm. event of any international uh, uh, standard. Mm. No. It is the private sector that I'm interested in. Mm. So, when we, and when we go to them, usually they're like, okay, maybe because the CEO is involved in gaming. So, okay, I just give them a little... Give them something and let's move on. Mm. No, it is business. I mean, we make sure that your um, we get you onto the radio, to TV, social media, you know, and uh, ensure that people talk about you. But you have measurable numbers because that's so, what most of these guys are interested in. Do you understand? Are you, for instance, on social? If you're on social media, this is the, the impression, this is engagement. Do you now, guys do that? That is know? where we're at now. Okay. Where we, are, we can now tell our sponsors, this is what we are doing mm. on your behalf mm. on social media. Mm. All right? And um, so that way it will make sense mm. for them to plan better mm. and to um, uh, allocate resources mm. towards true sponsorship. Mm. Now, you have to understand this. There's a difference between golf promotion mm. and golf development. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people mm. in Nigeria mm. are doing golf promotion, and not golf. We are yeah. focused on golf development. development yeah. And then when we tell sponsors, I'm only interested in developing golf. 
They're like, you are blowing grammar. Yeah. Uh, just play a tournament and that's it. No, it's not about tournament. Yeah. We are we host tournament as a means to an end. Yeah. Uh, I don't organize every golf tournament that comes my way. No. Yeah. We're only interested in those tournaments that puts us in front of our potential sponsor. Yeah. So we are help, we are prepared and willing to help so that they will now see that value. Mm. that we are proposing in golf, mm. in things that we do for them. Okay, let me give you a last word, mm. you know, because I see that, you know, you're doing, I can almost feel your, your I can almost feel, feel that when you go to sponsors, what you get is who's going to play there. And when they don't hear that one CEO is playing, one, they, they lose interest. So it's not about the game of golf, it's about some um, selfie, I don't want to say some... <laughs> You know, they just want to sponsor amateur golf without looking at the big picture that if you're not going to develop sports, then our sports is never going to be, our golfers are never going to be competitive. And then if they are not competitive, we're never going to have a sports business at all. In which case, even you guys that are in the sports business area will not, will not measure up in terms of your earnings and stuff like that. What do you have to say? Because we have to bring this program home. Now, now. you have to understand that. also that the business environment is actually very hostile right now. Yeah. And sponsors are, I mean, they are, you know, they are being creative mm. to make things, you know, move. Yeah. Now, uh, how does government come in? If you provide a good working environment, sponsors will be glad to put money. Yeah. That's one. Two, in developing golf, there's a lot of money involved in golf. Yeah. All right? Now, uh, in football, how much have we made so far? Apart from our second place at the um, Nations Cup, yeah. 7.5 million yeah. Yeah? Uh, uh, that we have made. Yeah. Before then, maybe we made 6.5 million. We made 4 for, million from that. Uh, oh, it's 4 million. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For six, million naira, uh, 6 million dollars for the uh, USA qualifying yeah. round, making the qualifying round, yeah. World Cup, yeah. our dream team. Yeah. yeah. Now I've only, and then I've told you how much how much individuals are making mm. in golf, yeah. and then I'm wondering, a team of footballers, thirty members, yeah. uh, officials, uncounted numbers, and all we can make is six million dollars. Yeah. Meanwhile, an individual, any else, I've told you, career winning, forty nine million dollars. We are holding the short end of the, On stick. the stick. On that note, Mr. Lukoya, I think we have to um, thank you for coming thank on the you. program. I think we need to bring you back here for the main segment because there's, you know, golf, like I said, this is the debut. Golf is just debuting on this program. Oh, this okay. is uh, it's a, it's a new, pro, it's a very young program. Okay. And there's a lot we still need to say about golf, you yeah. know, uh, especially as you have. On the amateur level, you have a lot of, you know, strong uh, members of society that can get behind the game. We need sure. to start enjoying thinking beyond ourselves when we think about our sports to the next generation. And, you know, what legacy that we're, know, they were, we're leaving uh, behind, you know. So thank you very much. Uh, you. Like I said, we would engage further. Um, and so viewers, you, you, we've come to the end of the the program today today we talked about sports media broadcast with uh, Rotimi pedro and then we've spoken about golf with um, mr remy olukoya who would be able we would hope to get back here some some other time soon to talk more about uh, golf business next week is another time we have another interesting lineup for you next week and, and it's guaranteed to uh, make your tuesday next week an enjoyable one until we meet again next week this is me, Urufo Aizaga, saying be productive, be good, and stay safe.